Hello everyone, time for another indie box. I do not know which game is in here, which is in contrast to what we've been having in the last few indie boxes. They always seem to get spoiled for me for, you know, different emails that get sent out and that sort of thing. I really need to stop reading the indie box emails because I like it when I'm surprised, so I do not know which game this is going to be. Let's see what it is. I have no clue. And it's Moon Hunters. This is something I've never heard of. Ooh. This is something I've never heard of before. Let's see. And let's see. They don't have that indie box challenge anymore, which kind of sucks because I never open them like in enough time to give myself an opportunity to participate in those. But let's see what's in these cards. Let's see. Hopefully, some cool, more free games. Let's see. They always have this part right here. I don't know if this is supposed to, like, make a bigger piece of the puzzle or something. I don't know. Eddie from uh, Brutal Legend. Uh, Moon Hunters, The Ritualist. This sounds like this is going to be an RPG or something. Let's see. Apotheon Zeus. An alchemist from uh, Savant the Ascent. And let's see. Ah, full game download. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and give this to you because I already have this game, Savant uh, The Ascent, or Savant Ascent, whatever. Uh, I played a little bit of it. Um, I have mixed feelings about it. I haven't really played enough of it, though, to give a good opinion. So I'm just going to give you guys the code. One of you lucky guys will go ahead and be able to, if it'll focus. <laughs> I hope you guys can read that. If not, I'll type it down below. But, um, yeah, so, uh, it's a pretty decent game. I got it during a Steam sale for very, very little money. And, uh, not the recent Steam sale, but an earlier one. And, um, uh, yeah, I need to put more time into it, just like a lot of people, I too have fallen into the trap of having way more games in my Steam library than I'll ever be able to play. So, let's add one to that. Um, <laughs> this is Moon Hunters, and from Kit Fox Games. Uh, let's see, Moon Hunters. Local co-op? Oh, jeez. I hope it isn't mandatory local co-op, because I have no friends. Uh, let's see. Limited edition, uh, 1,000 and 5,000. Let's see. And it comes in one of these nice little plastic covers again. Ooh, that's a pretty cover right there. All right. Let's see here. I have never heard of this game. I don't know... Uh, usually, like, even with Steam sales and everything, I've gotten more aware of the indie market. I know what else is out there. But this one, I have never even heard of it. So this is going to be a complete surprise for me. Let's see. They've been using this really soft material lately. I don't know. I have mixed feelings about it. Because it makes the box a little weaker, if you ask me. Uh, like, as far as, like, the actual, hmm, like the material, I mean, um, okay, recipe magnets, that's weird, okay, so I guess there's some recipe crafting, and there's stickers stuck to the back of them, but I guess that's what stickers do, don't they, moon hunter's emblem, let me put this away before I kill myself, uh, then indie box, very cool, looks like a very artsy, very cool game, let's see, manual, Moon Hunter's Instruction Manual. I still don't know what this game is. Again, I think it's... I would guess it's RPG. I don't know. That's what I'm getting the feeling of. Does it say here? Uh, about the game. Still doesn't tell me. Okay, well, what about the... Huh, the controls don't seem to tell me a lot. Base attack, special attack, mobility attack... Okay, so this looks like it's more like a, like an action RPG, maybe. If it's action RPG, that's great, because I don't do well with traditional or Japanese RPGs. Oh, hey! If this is the USB drive, I'm gonna freak out. <laughs> I don't think it is. I hope it's not. <laughs> what the heck? Okay. Oh my god! <laughs> Holy crap! So you're supposed to put this in your computer. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. <laughs> oh, God. All right, I got to tell you guys something about IndieBox. Uh, something that I heard from uh, from a friend, actually. So I haven't seen it myself firsthand, but it is pretty well confirmed. They are getting rid of the USB. 
It sucks. They're getting rid of this. They are instead going to uh, CDs, I think. So uh, now they're going to have a actual disc. At least that's what somebody told me online. So, But it doesn't seem like somebody who would make stuff up. So I think that is confirmed. Um, I have bad feelings about that because I really like these. Uh, uh, maybe maybe they're just going out with a bang right here. Maybe this is the last USB, so they just want to make it, you know, as big and grandiose as possible. But, um, yeah, I, I kind of don't like that because that seems to me like a cheaper route. I think maybe they might have done it for quality control reasons. As you guys have known, I've had quite a few problems with USB drives that they send me, and uh, quite a few times I've had to email them to get the correct files because it doesn't work with what they send me. This, though, is incredible. You see, <laughs> if they did this just to go out with a bang, that is incredible. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, jeez. Moon Hunters, the official soundtrack. Oh, no, the monolith fell on me. Okay, pretty cool. What else is in here? Moon Hunters, a pen that you put on yourself and things. Let's see. It's like the last thing's in here. Yep. Last thing. This is coasters, I guess? Are these coasters? And you know what? They didn't come with that guide, so I don't know if these are supposed to be coasters. Let's open it up. I think they are. Yeah, these are coasters. Holy crap. Okay. Well, they're pretty... They're really nice. Tree. Moon thing. Kind of looks like this. Volcano. Very strange. It's almost like a like a Rorschach test, I think. What do you think of when you see this right here? What do you think? Think of your mother? Okay, good. Good. That's a very good sign. Alright, and I don't know what this game is still. Um, I think it's probably... Huh, let's see. Yeah, it doesn't even say here if this is... You know, an RPG or action RPG, point and click, what, what it is. But to me, it looks like it is maybe an action RPG, but whatever. Let's stop speculating. Let's try the game already. Yoink! Alright, so after I installed the game, I wanted to try it out just to make sure that it works. So I played a quick game with the first melee character it gives you, and already I was getting a bad feeling with this game. First off, it's in a medieval setting. That was already obvious from the box, but still, it's just something that I just don't do well with. Then I find out the game runs like garbage on my brave little toaster. For being such a simple pixel art kind of game, it is surprisingly demanding. So I apologize if this looks bad. It might run better on your rig. And also, after sampling the game for a few minutes, I couldn't figure out what it was. I could tell it was real-time action, but you still have these RPG traits and levels and power-ups and everything. But the melee combat was terrible, the hit detection was way off. So right away, I was like, damn it, it's gonna be one of those games. This game is obviously not for me, and I'm gonna be dragging my feet to play it, just so that I can get some usable footage. But there is a happy ending here. I made a mistake because you should never judge an indie box by its cover. Later, when I had an afternoon to myself to just sink into the game, I did a complete 180. I was so wrong, this is such an enjoyable game. The thing that really turned it around for me was that I chose a different character. I decided to go with this, like, projectile sorceress kind of character, and that immediately made the game enjoyable. I still had performance issues here and there, but I no longer had to worry about hit detection. The game became playable and I love it. I will admit that having a projectile character cheeses most of the enemies, but I do not see that as being unfair, because apparently this is supposed to be a four-player co-op game, and since I'm playing single player, I don't really think it's a problem that I'm overpowered. And of course I figured out the game, so I could tell you now it is brilliantly designed. In fact, I think it is probably the best designed RPG I have ever played. The mechanics are simple, but they're so well done. Let me tell you how they work. So the game works on a four-day cycle. The first day is like a normal day and you go out on like a hunt, and when you come back they tell you a new cult is in town. And you will be killed in three days because you represent the old way of thinking. So you have three days to prepare yourself and each day you go to a different area. In each area you fight enemies, but you don't really level up until you interact with NPCs. On the final day you confront the boss whether you're prepared or not. And each gameplay session from start to finish is only about 30 minutes long. So even though it's definitely an RPG and it might look like a traditional overhead RPG, that is not what it is at all. It's not a 40 hour grind fest, it's not turn based, it's none of that. And that's one of the coolest elements, because there are some parts that look like a traditional turn based RPG, but it's as if those parts were played as a real time action game. For instance, there are some battles that take place in like a boxed area, where you fight off waves of enemies, like you would expect in a traditional turn based RPG, but again, it's in real time. 
It is so strange, but I wish more RPGs would do that. And here's the thing, I'm usually not a fan of RPGs. Unless you mean strategy RPGs, but that's different. I mean, each game only takes 30 minutes, so it's really addictive. I just want to play one game after the next. And this game has so much content in it. Each character is completely different with their own special attacks and abilities. There's different areas to start from and that affects the story. You get to choose what you want to do after the day is over. They even have a cooking mechanic, which is surprisingly fun. And there's so much stuff that's hidden, I still haven't found everything. Every time I would go back to the game to get footage, I would find new content. For instance, you could get a pet companion that helps you in battle. Like this one time, there was a fox that kept tricking me, and in the story, the fox would even come into my dreams and like pretend to be someone, and then in the end, the fox helped me out with the final boss battle. So again, there's a lot of content in this game. And something that I didn't realize is that the game released just a few months ago. So that's cool the Indie Box guy game, which is still pretty new. And that also means that whoever gets this code is getting a good value. So it's 15 bucks right now, but I gotta tell you, with all the content, I think it is worth that 15 bucks. If you're willing to spend that and this is the type of game that would interest you, then I absolutely recommend that you go ahead and get it. You are not going to get a 40-hour RPG, but I think you are going to get $15 worth of value from it. So again, that's kind of a point that I'm hammering over your head, that it is not a traditional RPG, but I think that's a good thing. Like I said, I'm not a fan of RPGs, but this is one of my favorite RPGs ever, because it's almost like it's breaking the rules of what an RPG should be. I think it belongs in its own subgenre. Maybe we could call it a micro-RPG, you know, since it only takes 30 minutes to play it. I know that I've been like 110% positive in this review, but now that I've really gotten into it, I find it really hard to find fault with this game. Probably the only thing I could say that was really disappointing with it is that there are some characters, like that first melee one, which are impossible to beat the final boss with. I have beaten the final boss a few times already, but again, some of those characters, they do so little damage that it is impossible unless you have somebody else playing with you. But like I said, the rest of the game is top notch. With a lot of these recent indie boxes, I've been making my review after I completed the game and it's retired to my shelf, but with this game, I'm still in it. There is still so much to discover, I still need to try out the unlockable characters, and the game is short and fun. It works in my schedule. So this game was a complete surprise, I did not expect to like it. Again, if there's one thing I learned, it's don't judge an indie box by its cover. I am the hardest customer for this type of game. I was ready to hate it, but instead I love it and I think you would too. It sounds crazy, but to whoever gets that code, tell me if I'm crazy. And that's all I got for today. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time.